Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos, and today we're going to be going over my top 5 tips for the Firefox web browser. So I did a recent series on the Chrome web browser and my top 5 tips, and these are my top 5 tips for the Firefox edition as some of you guys requested. So let's get right into it. Alright, tip number 1. You want to make the most space for your browsing. So as you can see, my setup here is a one one bar for everything, for my bookmarks, for my menus, all of that. And this has some cooperation to do with a later tip about add-ons. But basically, uh, if you want to put everything in one bar, you can right-click here. You can disable stuff like your navigation bar, your bookmarks bar, and any other uh, bars like the delicious toolbar or something that may be installed on an add-on. And you can move the simple icon. So if you right click also at the same menu, just like right here in the blank space, and hit customize, or right here, you can grab icons and you can actually drag them up here. So for example, if I was to have the bookmarks, or yeah, bookmarks bar open, I can hit customize and take the bookmarks and put them here, is where they're usually by default, and just grab them and drag them up here. And I also check this little icon right here that says use small icons, and that obviously will uh, sh or sh shrink the icon size and give you a lot more space and my address bar is just up here at the top as well and I don't use that Google bar so I just took that out so everything's all in one here and you only have your tab bar and your address bar and that's all in one menu and I'll show you how to get this little tiny menu a little bit later on all right so that's tip number one maximizing your space for web browsing on Firefox tip number two about colon config. Now, this is a great, great uh, utility for uh, you know configuring about almost anything in Firefox, almost anything. And then you're gonna get this first morning, the first time you get over here. Uh, now, there's a lot of uh, what do you call that? I should not anything, but I should say like any uh, settings dealing with you know uh, networking or anything like that. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do here from shortening uh, certain links, uh, like shortening like stuff like tabs like how many tabs can fit in a row to uh, you know making firefox faster and all you can do a lot of crazy about colon config uh, options here but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and show you one the, some quick ones you can do to improve your browsing speed dealing with some networking settings all right so if you want some tips here if you go into about colon config and you uh, can actually go into these settings right here and set them to true or you can change the number to 30, and there you can see here. These are just some quick tips that uh, I use. I change into uh, or change. I I change my about colon config Firefox settings anytime I install a new edition of Firefox. There's a lot more about colon config uh, settings you can change in there to do some cool tweaks, but these are just my favorites. All right, tip number three: setting search uh search keywords here you know, this is a cool thing that i've shown in the past like for example let's say you're at google.com and you want to use uh this search and you know for some browsers like chrome you can default search through the address bar but what if you want to have multiple keywords for certain searches what i mean by that is if i right click here and i say uh or if i actually go into my address bar and hit g which is the keyword i set and say uh digital dojos for example it automatically do a google search for digital dojos now what I had to do here is right click here and go into uh, this option that says add keyword for the search. This menu pops up and it'll add a bookmark, but you don't actually have to use a bookmark here. You can use a keyword. I use the letter G for Google. You can use a one letter keyword which will signify uh, how to search. So for example, let's say I go to Wikipedia, wow, <laughs> wikipedia.com, Wikipedia. yeah, .org, same thing. All right, so Wikipedia opens up here, and let's say I want to use their search. I would do the same thing. I would say add a keyword for the search. Maybe I want to use the keyword W. And now if I was to say W and I say, I don't know, Internet, it should search Wikipedia for Internet using that one keyword. So it's a great way for searching quickly and uh, managing your way through Firefox. So that's tip number three. All right. Moving on, tip number four, customizing your browser. So the best way, obviously, you can customize your browser is heading over to add-ons.mozilla.org. Now, this offers a, a wide array of things from themes to add-ons, and really, this is the best part of Firefox just because there's so many add-ons, there's so many themes. You can see my browser here, it's highly customized uh, to my own liking, and that's the great thing about Firefox. You can do so much stuff here. Uh, this add-on right here is called Tiny Menu. I also suggest stuff like... Uh, 
Tab Mix Plus, that's a big one I suggest. Uh, here, I'll show you quickly my add-ons. Uh, if I go to Menu, Tools, Add-ons here, if I can get it. Uh, Tab Mix Plus allows you to do a lot of cool stuff with tab browsing. I also do stuff like Speed Dial. Uh, and this also allows you to save sessions. Uh, so you can see here, you can, it's a much more, it's a much better session restore feature than the default Firefox. So these are just some of the add-ons I use uh, currently. I haven't really updated as of in my last video that I talked about. Uh, the theme I'm using is called NASA Night Launch. So head over to addons.mozilla.org and get some new themes for your Firefox browser, along with tons and tons of add-ons in multiple categories. And last but not least, tip number five. And this one's dealing with security. Now, if you use Firefox as a day-to-day -day browser, it's your default browser, you may store some passwords in there. One thing you may not know is these passwords are actually accessible unless you set a master password on Firefox. So this is something I highly suggest if you have family members or friends or your computer is just in a public place or, you know, with the risk of it being stolen, that a user can simply go to Tools, Options, and go into the Security tab and click see this thing right here you can say remember passwords for sites and uh, you see this thing right here that says save master passwords so if I click on this save passwords button right here it's gonna bring up this uh, little dialog box right here which I'm gonna show you here and what this does is this will I'm gonna pull this over to the side here now obviously I don't want to pull uh, to the right here because it shows all my usernames for sites but one it'll show all the sites that you're logged into you know sites that require a login for example you can see uh, MySpace, Dragnet, uh, it's my school, Facebook, uh, MySpace, Demonoid, uh, we click on you know, all these different sites here and then it's gonna say your username and you can click this little button that says show passwords and if there's no master password it's just gonna show you the passwords so you can I mean obviously it's meant there for to help you remember your passwords in case you forget some so you know that way you don't have to remember you know hundreds of passwords but I really suggest you just check, check this little button here that says use master password set a master password I'll tell you your quality of your password right here that way if anybody else was to use your machine they couldn't just access your passwords to your email etc alright guys so that concludes my top five tips for Firefox I hope you enjoyed this edition I would love to get some more videos out for you guys don't forget to check out the Chrome edition if you're a Google Chrome user and stay tuned for some more tips etc in the future don't forget to head over to digitaldojos.com for more content anyways guys thanks for watching and don't forget to comment rate subscribe